Our next topic is the Network Laws and Theorems. And first, we will discuss the Kirchhoff's Law. So, the statements of the Kirchhoff's Laws are similar to those in DC networks, except that instead of algebraic sum of currents and voltages, we take the phasor or vector sums of an AC network. So for the Kirchhoff's current law, we have, according to this law, in any electrical network, the phase or sum of the currents meeting at a junction is zero. So in other words, the summation of currents at any junction is equal to zero. So put it in another way, it is simply means that in any electrical circuit, the phase or sum of the currents flowing towards a junction is equal to the phase or sum of the, of the currents going away from the junction. Next one is the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So according to this law, the phase or sum of the voltage drops across each of the conductors in any closed path or mesh in a network plus the phase or sum of the EMFs connected in that path is zero. So in other words, it is the summation of the voltage drops of the conductors plus the summation of the EMF or the source voltage of the circuit if it is equal to zero. So we will take an example for Kirchhoff's law. We have here two sources, the E1 and E2, and E1 has an angle of alpha and E2 has an angle of beta. There are three impedances, impedance 1 connected to E1 and impedance 2 connected to E2. And this system has a load impedance equal to ZL. So these are the direction of your currents, I1, IL, and I2. In Kirchhoff's laws, diba, we name our circuit in its uh, branches or nodes. So this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. And also, we already discussed in your DC circuits that if the loop enters into a negative sign of a battery or a source, its drop will be positive. And if the, the loop voltage is the same as the direction of your current, the voltage drop at this impedance will be negative. Okay? So again, if your loop will enter into a negative sign of a source, the sign of your source will be positive. And if the loop enters or it is the same as the direction of your currents, it will be negative. But if they have in opposite direction, the loop, the motion of the loop and the direction of the current, the drop will have a positive drop. Okay? The impedances values, Z1 is equal to 12, Z2 is 12 ohms, ZL has J12, E1 is 120 volts, E2 is 96 plus J72. First is, we identify the KCL. So, ano ba yung mga pwedeng, uh, saan tayo pwedeng mag-KCL at node C and node F. But our equation is N minus 1. So, the number of nodes minus 1 is the number of your equation. So, 2 nodes minus 1. So, we only need 1 node. So, let's say this node C. We will get the KCL equation at node C that is, Current entering is positive and current leaving is negative. Current entering at node C is positive, I1. Leaving at node C is IL, so minus, plus I2, kasi entering yung I2. Always equate your equation to zero. Pag walang zero to, automatic wrong. Okay, kasi hindi mabubuo yung equation nyo kung walang... Uh, equal to 0. And I want to get the value of IL. So, 
IL will be equal to I1 plus I2. That will be my equation 1. Next is formulating the voltage equations. So, at loop A, B, C, F, A, this one A, B, C, F, A. So, always remember that you closed your loop. If your loop will be A, B, C, F, so means A, B, C, F, hindi yon closed loop. So, kung hindi nyo klinose to, wrong. Okay? Dapat i-close nyo tong loop. And from A to B, the, the motion of the KVL is from A to B. So, it enters into a negative sign of a battery. That's why it is positive 120. B to B to C, this one. So, it is the same direction with your I1. That's why it is negative. Negative 12 I1. Same is true in CF. So, same direction with IL. So, minus. Don't forget your parenthesis. Kasi malaking factor kung hindi ka maglalagay ng mga parenthesis. Uh, most espe especially in complex numbers. So, dito, importante ang parenthesis kasi may, di ba, in our previous discussions, critical kung may parenthesis yung isang uh, quantity. Okay? So, minus J12IL is equal to 0. Next one, KVL loop at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So, this is outside your circuit. We have A, B. So, enters into a negative sign of a battery. So, that is 120 positive. And then, B, C. This one, B, C is negative 12 I1. CD plus 12 I1 kasi it is in opposite direction of your I2 minus it enters into a positive sign of your source. Itong DE. So minus the, uh, the parenthesis of 96 plus J12 is equal to 0. Pag hindi mo to linagyan ng negative so, mag-iiba yung equation mo. It will not be the same as 96 plus J12. Okay? So, always remember your parenthesis. Now, this will be my equation 3. Substitute 1 in 2. Substitute this equation 1 in equation 2. You will have 120 minus 12i minus parenthesis of J12 times I1 plus I2 is equal to 0. So, i-distribute mo yung J12 sa I1 and I2. So, you will get 120 minus 12 I1 minus J12 I1 plus J12 I2 is equal to 0. 120 minus 12 I1 minus J12 I1 plus J minus J12 I2 is equal to 0. So, combining like terms, si combine, mo, combine mo yung I1 and I1. So, you will have 120 minus 12 plus J12 I1 minus J12 I2 is equal to 0. Getting your I2 will be 120 minus the parenthesis of 12 plus J12 I1 divided by J12. That will be your equation 4. Next one, substitute equation 4 in 3. Okay? So, 120 minus 12 I1 plus 12 multiplied by I1. So, your I1 is 120 minus 12 plus J12 I1 divided by J12. Minus 96 plus J12 is equal to 0. So, para matanggal natin yung denominator dito, we will multiply both sides of the equation by J12. 
So you will get J1440 minus J144 I1 plus 1440 minus the parentheses of 144 plus J144 I1 minus the parentheses of minus 864 plus J1152 is equal to 0. Simplifying all these equations, you will get 2304 plus J288 equal to, so you combine your I1 here and then uh, transfer it to the other side of the equation. So J144 I1 plus 144 plus J144 I1. Your I1 now will be 2304 plus J222 divided by J144 plus 144 plus J144. Or 144 plus 288J. You will get I1 equal to 4 minus J6 amperes. And then for us to get I2, substitute this I1 to equation 4 para maag makuha mo yung I2. So, after substituting, you will get exactly 2 amperes. IL now from our KCL equation, I1 plus I2, you will get 6 minus J6 amperes. Okay? So, ganito lang yung Kirchhoff's nyo. Same process in your DC network. Dito, uh, you are dealing with complex numbers now. So, always remember your parenthesis kasi pag hindi nyo ginamit yung parenthesis, magiging wrong yung mga quantities nyo and you will end up wrong answer.